What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be addressing a question I get frequently. People always ask me, how do I get motivated? How do I stay motivated? Well, motivation is tied to a goal, tied to some kind of a purpose. If you don't have a purpose, if you don't have a reason for what you're doing, it's hard to stay motivated and it's hard to be motivated. Motivation can come from personal self-interest. I want to get into shape. Very selfish goal, but it's a way to be motivated. Motivation can come from a uh, altruistic purpose. I want to I want to do this for other people. So for example, I want to be in shape and get healthier so that way I can live a longer life for my children and be more uh, involved in their life. Um, those those are different ways you can get motivated, but ultimately motivation comes from having some kind of a goal, some kind of purpose. So sit down, close your eyes and think about this. Why do I want to get into shape? Why do I want to look this way? And what would that do for me by accomplishing that goal? So again, if you're trying to lose weight, think about that. I'm going to have a healthier life. I'm going to be able to live longer um, and live a much higher quality of life. I'll be able to do normal things throughout the day like walking, uh, moving stuff without losing my breath, without feeling super exhausted and tired. And so that sounds like a better quality of life for me. That sounds like that's something that's a noble goal, something worthy of sacrificing to, to achieve. And so I think that is where you need to start fundamentally with when you're talking about motivation is having a lofty goal for yourself, something that isn't necessarily easy. Goals like that, long-term goals, should not be easy, should not be simple. So don't get distracted when you hear all these things that are over-promising uh, results quickly or easily. Those things are typically lies. They're just trying to take advantage of you. Um, for example, getting into shape in 30 quick days, um, usually there is some kind of a catch, something that... Uh, is going to take you uh, down some kind of road that's not going to be motivating. So I want you to make slow and steady progress towards your goal. That is motivating. If you're not making any progress or if you do a 30-day challenge and you don't see any results off of it, that's demotivating. Oftentimes I have people tell me that I did this 30-day ab challenge where I did crunches for 30 days and I don't have abs. Working out is not for me. It doesn't work. Well, no, you just had the wrong information and you weren't making progress, which ultimately demotivates you. So you want to make sure you're moving in the right direction. You're doing the right fundamental things to achieve your goal. And that's why taking progress pictures, monitoring and tracking your progress can be motivating because it can show you that what you're doing, the sacrifices as hard as they are that you're making are worth it because they're achieving something. So if you're just going about the business of checking the box, I went to the gym today, checking the box. I, I had a good meal today. You got to do something more than that. You got to make sure you're giving your body a reason to change. And so having a high motivation level will help to drive you to make those dramatic changes that are needed to change your body. And so motivation is, is important. Sure. It's part of the picture. It's a piece of the puzzle towards success, towards achieving your goal. But you also have to remember something fundamentally. Motivation comes and it goes. It's got highs and lows. So motivation is not always going to be there. It's not a friend that you can rely on constantly. The friend that you can rely on constantly is discipline. And discipline is developed day after day, week after week of working hard, of putting in the hours, of making those tough decisions to go to the gym when you're not motivated, when you don't feel like it, when you don't feel like eating the food that you know you need to eat. That's when you got to develop that discipline muscle, which will carry you through and be your best friend throughout this process. So make sure you're consistent. Consistency is so fundamental towards achieving uh, results and any goal that you set for yourself. You've got to be consistent with it and you've got to be moving in the right direction. So motivation is great. Motivation can help uh, fuel you initially towards your goal and can help you throughout the process, but there are going to be plenty of days. I experience them myself, even though I've been doing this for a long time, where I'm just not motivated. I'm not fired up and ready to go to the gym, but I do it anyways. And that's the situation you have to put yourself in. Where, When you're in doubt, when your mind and all your emotions are running wild saying, I can't do this, I don't want to do this, you don't need to do this, you have to fight those thoughts. You have to be stronger than those thoughts. You have to overcome those thoughts. You have to use that discipline muscle to just do it anyways. Do it when it's hard. Do it when it's when it's easy, when you're motivated. Just continue to work hard at your goal. The harder you work, the more results you're going to get and the more success you will have. The difference between a successful person and a person that fails is not the failure. They both fail. The successful person just keeps getting back up 
and working at it. So if there's a month you have to take off from the gym, if you get injured, if something like that happens, that's life. That's part of being a human. But what sets you apart from the other average humans is that you keep going regardless of what happens to you, regardless of what life throws at you, regardless of what difficulties you encounter. If that goal is big enough and worthy enough for you to achieve it, you have to keep working at it every single day. And that's what's going to be most rewarding, most gratifying, and something you can be most proud of is that you worked towards achieving that goal when you didn't feel like it, when things were hard, and when you wanted to quit, but you didn't. And so you can look in the mirror and you can thank no one but yourself because it was you that made it happen. It wasn't anybody else. So that's something you need to keep in mind. Hard work is going to trump and, and, and discipline is going to trump motivation any day of the week. But motivation is great to have because it gives you uh, a connection to that goal. It gives you a reason for wanting to achieve that goal. So motivation will help you along the way. But motivation is not something you can rely on always. Yes, there are a couple tricks and things that I can share with you right now to help motivate you. Um, like I talked about earlier, progress. If you're keeping track of your progress, you're looking at progress pictures, you notice you're moving in the right direction towards your goal, that's motivating. If you're not making any progress, that's demotivating. So you got to make sure you're doing the fundamental, uh, following the core principles that are going to help you to achieve your goal. If you're trying to gain weight, eat more calories. If you're trying to lose weight, eat less calories. It doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. Just work at the specifics and, um, and, and, and make it happen. And then also a couple other things that can motivate you. Watch some motivational videos. Watch some motivational speeches. Read some motivational quotes. Set yourself up a really awesome hype track playlist that's going to motivate the crud out of you when you go to the gym and you're just ready to get in the zone um, when you turn the music on because all of a sudden you just have that, that energy that comes through the music. Um, those things can help motivate you. Getting to the gym when you don't feel like it can be motivating in and of itself. So for example, if you had a long day at work, you're tired, crap happened to you at work, life sucks, I know, I know how it goes. I've been there too. But just showing up sometimes can get you motivated because you start setting yourself up for the right things to happen in your life despite all the external factors and the things you can't control. The one thing you can control, how you respond, how you decide to, uh, to respond to the challenges that you face in life. And so just to wrap up, take ownership. Take ownership, take responsibility of your life because fitness is one of those things. You can't pay for it. No one else can achieve it for you. It's up to you. And so if you can work to accomplish your fitness goals, if you can work to take charge of this area of your life, think about how that will bleed over into other areas of your life. Focus on the things you can control, like what you put into your body, what you're eating, and how often and regularly and consistently you're exercising. If you can start small by, by being consistent with those, and you can start to make slow, steady progress, staying uh, motivated as much as possible, but relying on that discipline and building up that discipline, that is ultimately what's going to carry you through at the end of the day. And when you achieve your goal, when you achieve uh, that uh, that big lofty goal you've set for yourself, you have no one to thank but yourself and that discipline that you've developed uh, for helping you to achieve that goal. And then the fun part begins, on to the next goal, because then you start to get momentum, you start to get traction, you start to realize, hey, I can apply these principles to other areas of my life or future goals. And you start to get better at the whole process of setting goals and being disciplined and dedicated to accomplishing those goals. So appreciate you guys checking out the video. Let me know if this was helpful for you. Uh, like I said, I got a lot of questions related to motivation and I wanted to do a video discussing it. So um, if this was helpful for you, please like, comment, and uh, subscribe down below and let me know your thoughts. I appreciate you checking out the video and I will catch you guys next time. Keep lifting, try to stay motivated, but more importantly, stay disciplined and work towards those goals one day at a time.